Breast cancer is the most common cancer seen in female in India. We are seeing there is an increase in the incidence of breast cancer in India because of the lifestyle changes. Everybody should know what are the symptoms of the breast cancer. Most common presentation for the breast cancer is a lump in the breast. In addition to the lump, there can be pain in the breast or sometimes there can be nipple discharge which is most of the time bloody. In addition to the lump which is present, patient may have a lump in the armpit also. This is a sign the breast cancer has spread from breast to the armpit. In examination, what we will see is whether the lump is cancerous or non-cancerous. So we do detailed examination of the breast and armpit and distant parts like liver, bone to see whether the cancer is confined to the breast and armpit or it has spread to other parts of the body. Investigations is done for two purposes. One, to diagnose the case. Second, to do the staging workup. To diagnose the case, what we do is we do the mammogram, what is called X-ray of the breast. In addition, ultrasound of the breast is done. Once we do the mammogram, the grading is given, Barrett's 1 to 5 to judge whether the lesion is falling in benign category or malignant category. In addition to mammogram, we need to do the biopsy of the lump to confirm whether the lesion is cancerous or non-cancerous. The biopsy can be done by two ways. One, the FNAC can be done or second, a core needle biopsy can be done which is studied under the microscope to tell whether the lump is cancerous or non-cancerous. Once we diagnose the, the lump is whether cancer or non-cancer, we need to do the staging workup. If the lump is non-cancerous, very good for the patient. You can either go for excision of the lump or you can leave it if surgery is not a mandatory. And if the biopsy comes as cancer, then we need to do the staging workup to see whether the patient with the disease is confined to the breast or it has spread to other part of the body. The staging of the breast cancer is 1 to 4. In 1, the disease is confined to the breast and in 4, it has spread to other part of the body like bone and liver. Early stage in 1 and 2, we can cure the patient. There is cure chances of almost 90% and in stage 4, the cure chances is very low falls down to 2% or 1%. The treatment for the breast cancer depends on the stage when you have presented to the doctor. In stage 1 and 2, the primary modality of treatment here is surgery, where there are two options, either to remove the breast completely or to remove the lump only, followed by reconstruction. And second, the lymph node in the axilla need to be removed. So, the treatment option here is Removal of the complete breast where we call it modified radical mastectomy. Second, to remove the only lump where we call breast conservative surgery. Once patient undergoes surgery, then what we do is we send the specimen for histopathological examination to see what is the grade and what are the ERPR receptor status. If the patient is falling in good category, no need for further treatment, chemotherapy and radiation can be avoided. But if the patient falls in high risk category where the chances of recurrence are high, the patient will require chemotherapy and radiation in addition to surgery. This is about stage 1. If you present to the doctor in stage 3 where the disease is a little bit spread to the armpit or to the overlying skin or the muscles, then upfront surgery is usually not recommended. What we do here is we start with chemotherapy first. We reduce the size of the lump and the lymph node involvement then we reduce the stage from stage 3 to stage 2 or 1 after chemotherapy we advise the patient surgery so this is about stage 3 and in stage 4 usually surgery will not be indicated the only option available here will be chemotherapy and the chemotherapy in stage 4 is to only control the disease it is not to cure the disease the role of radiation in breast is to reduce the chances of local recurrence when we feel the chances of cancer coming back in the chest or breast is more than 20%, radiation will be required. So usually the indication for radiation is when the lump is more than 5 cm or the disease has already spread to the armpit, then the radiation will be added. If the patient is ERPR positive, then the hormonal treatment will start which will cure the patient and which will increase the survival significantly. So, the treatment for breast cancer is multimodality treatment where the surgery, chemotherapy, radiation and hormonal treatment is incorporated depending on the stage of the patient 
and the extent of spread of the disease in the body. Now, the next question is what is the post operative care we should take a patient who has undergone the surgery? One week after the surgery, you can start doing mild to moderate household work. You can do the weight lifting up to 5 kg. Above 5 kg, usually we don't advise. And most important, the side where you have gone undergone surgery, try to prevent injuries to that arm because already the lymph node has been removed, the healing power in that limb is less. So next point very important after breast surgery is your shoulder exercises. What happens? Usually after breast surgery, there is a restricted movement of the right shoulder joint. So what we advise is after surgery, immediately third day, start doing shoulder exercises. Next, what about the diet and other precautions? There is no diet restrictions uh, to a patient who has undergone surgery. He or she can take whatever they want. There is no restriction. It is myth that rice will cause infection or other things if we take more will prevent the infection. They can take whatever they want. There is no restriction of the food and diet. And the most important thing is come back to the normal activity as early as possible. Usually what we are worried about in follow up of the breast cancer is the recurrence. The recurrence can happen either in the chest wall or the breast where we have operated or in the distant part of the body. So what we advise is to come to the doctor every three months in the starting two years. After three months, we advise them to come once in six months. What we do is we tell a detailed history of the any symptom present and do detailed examination to see if there is any signs or symptoms of recurrence. If there are signs or symptoms of recurrence, then we advise imaging or FNAC or biopsy to see if there is a recurrence. The prognosis of the breast cancer depends on the stage when you have presented to the doctor. If you have presented to the doctor in stage 1, the cure chances are 90%. If you have presented to the doctor stage 2, the cure chances are 70%. If you have presented to the doctor in stage 3, the cure chances are 30%. And in stage 4, as I told, the cure chances are very very low, only we can control the disease. This is everything about breast cancer. Thank you for your patience listening and watching. Thank you.